back for the leg and the feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the faces on the knee, right mouse button faces. And I'm going to hold shift and click on the greater than key to expand my selection. All right, that's pretty good right there. Think of the feet as a shoe. We could deselect this row right here, but I'm happy with this selection. Now, again, we're going to use a planar projection and I'm going to project from the Z. UVs menu, planar, I'm going to go to my options and I'm going to make sure the Z is selected and I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to close this and there's our projection. Again, we could select the little T right here so that it takes us to the transformation gizmo for this projection. And then we could go to, for example, the front view and select the rotation handle by just clicking on it once and then immediately going to edit undo. The reason why we want to do this is because when you select either the rotation, the scale or the move manipulators, what tends to happen is that you either press it too hard or there's a slight movement and you start moving your projection by hitting undo it just goes back to a selection so now i can click on this i can move my projection so that it mimics the direction of the leg and i'm going to hit the move manipulator and again as soon as i hit it once see what happens instead of selecting the move manipulator i selected the rotation on Y. So I'm going to hit undo. I'm going to go to my perspective view. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select one of the manipulators and I'm going to hit undo. So now the move manipulator selected, I can go back to my front view and now I can move my manipulator so that it fits the leg. Notice how it fits the leg on the top and the bottom. And I can see in my UV texture editor that maybe it's a little bit on the fat side so I can scale it while I'm here. And if I go to the front view again and hit F and zoom in, I'm going to see what this does to my textures. So look at this. I have to scale this quite a bit to get a perfect square on my UV texture. And this is what we're looking for. We're looking for a perfect square on this pattern. So once I'm satisfied, let me hit F. I'm going to hit Q and deselect by clicking anywhere in the background. Now we have the same issue as before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two shells right here and I'm going to hit W and that's good. We didn't have that same problem that we had before. Let me rotate this guy right here. I believe this is the bottom part, but we'll check that out later. So because this is a planar projection, the projection comes from the front and we get this interesting pattern right here in our UV texture. So what we need to do to unfold this, we need to create a cut somewhere in this leg so that it unwraps like a tube that has been cut in half through its long side. So looking at this leg right here, what I want to do again, just like the hand, the arm and the torso is that we want to select a seam that cannot be seen from the front. Let me go to five, right mouse button, edges, hit Q. I'm going to select this top edge. I'm going to go to the bottom, shift, double click the bottom edge. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go to cut and object mode. There's our cut. It's in the back, cannot be seen from the front. It's pretty well hidden. So let's go ahead and unfold this. So I'm going to select the UVs. We're going to go to polygons and we're going to click on unfold. And there you have it, a perfectly UV leg. I'm going to hit six to see my textures. While the UVs are selected, I'm going to hit E for rotation. And I'm going to rotate it so that my textures 
at least follow the leg somehow. Like so. All right, and again, we're not too worried about the differences in sizes and all that. We will take care of that at the end when we lay out all the shelves in one UV coordinate. Now let's do the feet. Right mouse button, faces. I'm going to select these faces right here. I'm going to go around, make sure that nothing was selected in the back. I'm going to hit 5. All right. And I am going to select these two guys by holding Shift and Control. Pretty good. And in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up with a Y projection from the top. Something like this right here. And then I'm going to split the inner part of my feet sole, this part right here. I'm going to cut it somewhere around here. And it's going to go around all the toes. And my hinge is going to be right on the outside. And to unfold the top part, because this will be like the lid of a book, to unfold the top part, I may continue the cut all the way down to here. So let's give this a try. Let me move the leg out of the way. I'm going to move this at the bottom. Q and click in the background. And back to my faces. Let's give this a planar projection from the top. So I'm going to select the Y. And I'm going to hit project. So we could move our projection to better fit our shape by selecting the little t and bringing up the transformation gizmo. I'm going to select the move real quick and again hit undo. And I'm going to go to the bottom this time. I'm going to hit F to find it. I'm going to rotate and immediately go to undo. And now I can select this right here and I am moving my rotation as you can see inside of the UV texture editor so that it better matches my foot and I am going to hit 6 let's see what the texture looks like all right and I'm going to scale this right here until I get a square pattern for my texture there it is that looks pretty good all right so now let me go back to my perspective view now it's time to cut this and then unfold it. I'm going to hit 5, Q, select the background, and let's start cutting the bottom part. I'm going to see which one of my edges goes in the middle of all the toes. So I'm going to go to right mouse button, edges, double click on my edge, and there it is. That's the culprit right there. So now that I have this selected, what I can do is Control and deselect these guys right here, which will work as a hinge. If I want to add, shift control and then click on that edge. Now let me rotate this. And our hinge is going to stop right here. So again, control, deselect these edges right here. Make sure that when you do this, that you don't deselect any of the edges on the inside. I'm going to hit F and rotate around. All right, this looks pretty good. So now that I have the bottom, I'm going to shift and click on these two edges right here. And it's time to cut it. So as soon as I cut it, let me go back to object mode. Let me take a look around. All right, you can see that my hinge is going to go from here to here. Almost a straight line. The straighter the line, the better. Okay, so let's take the foot right here and unfold it. Right mouse button, UVs, select these guys right here, polygons, unfold. And there we have a perfectly unfolded foot. Now this part right here can be sewn onto the leg. Hit W to move. I'm going to move this guy at the bottom. Right here, I'm going to hit F. And I'm going to scale this down, rotate it a little bit. Then move it, and let's see where these edges connect to our leg. So 
So notice that this edge right here is the same edge right here and that this one is this one. So if I go to my edges and I select this row by right here by holding the first one and then shift double click this edge right here. Shift double click this edge and let me hide my texture border edges. Now what I can do, I can do a move and sew. And as soon as I do that, again, I'm going to select all my UVs. And we're going to go to polygons, unfold, and let's see what we get. And there you have it. A perfectly unfolded foot and leg. I'm going to rotate these guys right here. And in our next video, we are going to take all these shelves right here and we are going to pack them inside of a one-to-one -one UV coordinate.